quick update on the Toyota. We got this pressure washed off yesterday. This is August 31st, 2024. Hope to get the motor dropped in today, but it's not gonna happen. I was missing a couple of things. Uh, I've got to wait on a part to come in tomorrow that I didn't anticipate having to get. So um, just wanted to show you this. We've got this engine bay cleaned up, sprayed off, sprayed some paint on it. Not trying to make a show truck. I just wanted it clean. We got the motor over here. Did a little more assembly done on it today. I was hoping to get it, like I say, set in, but that didn't happen. So when I get it off this engine stand, got to put the flywheel on it, torque it down. Got to put the, uh, or uh, torque the uh, harmonic balancer bolt. Got to torque the uh, camshaft bolt uh, for the sprocket, for the timing chain. So <clears throat> we're kind of waiting there. Um, kind of in a waiting mode right now, like I said. This will be a two or three part video. I'll film it over a course of two or three different days, but uh, didn't get it set in today, waiting on parts. Let's try again on the next part. And it's Monday, Labor Day, 2024. I didn't do any of the filming on setting the motor in because that's a whole lot of grunting and straining. We had a cherry picker, but getting it lined up anyway. The motor is in, is bolted in, bolted to the uh, bell housing, bolted back to the motor mounts. It's time for all the fun stuff now to go to reinstalling all the air conditioner stuff, the power steering stuff, starter, figuring out where all the wires go that probably never get put back the way they went. Uh, like I said, I did do the EGR delete, so that's in an earlier video I mentioned that. So that's part of it there. The rest of it will go as I put the exhaust on. Got to do a little work on the exhaust manifold, um, redrilling some holes and putting some new studs in that because they are chewed up, so one stripped out completely. Got to do a little work on it before I bolt it on, but I ain't worried about getting it running today. I am going to come back up here in a few minutes and may have some more footage on this video. This video will probably be shot over a course of you know, this entire week. You probably won't see it till the weekend after Labor Day, but that's where we've got to so far. Stay tuned. All right, we're gonna call this the end of day one. We got the AC pump back on, we got the alternator back on, we got these hoses. All the bolts down in there is secured. Motors bolted to the bell housing, starters back on. We're gonna call it today. I'm waiting on a couple of things. Gotta get a new knock sensor and put in it. Like I said, all this is gonna be a one part video till we get up to probably 15 or 20 minutes, but Anyway, I want to keep you up to date. Stay tuned. It's coming together. Well, and what's been just a second for you viewers has been a couple of weeks for me because I haven't had a chance to work on it. But I've got the intake just sitting on there. I've got everything else. Bottom part of the intake bolted up. Got most of the lines rerouted, like I said. Uh, I am doing an EGR delete. You can see part of the results from that. The back plate down there, that plate, this plate. And I've got a video that I'll put a link to. It's someone else's video. And they do a great job of installing the same one I'm putting on. And he shows how to uh, do the vacuum lines. I'll get into some of that on my video once I get to it. But first things first, we've got to figure it out ourselves and get it to where to run. Just a bunch of these things won't be needed. Anyway, I just want to give you an update, or not necessarily an update, but a continuation of this video. Um, it's kind of hard to film while I'm doing it, so I'm just kind of filling, filming bits and pieces. Uh, one thing I do recommend when you're taking one of these apart, you're going to take your time. you got to get motor block work done and everything else. You're going to have it apart for a while. I took several pictures and some video, some of the video I've used on here, some I've not, but... I realized I didn't take enough pictures. So as you pull the things out, unless you're really familiar with these little motors, I recommend taking a whole lot of pictures because this pipe right here that goes down in behind the motor, bolts to that back plate, comes around, is really, really mean to get on there after the motor's at this point sitting in the truck. So I had to do that this afternoon, which involved taking the fuel, fil uh, fuel filter back off the motor, down in underneath all that stuff, routing it back behind there it was just take plenty of pictures when you pull the motor and you need to reassemble as much of it as you can 
with it sitting on an engine stand before you put it back together. But we're gonna get this whole thing going here in another few weeks. Um, just stay with the video and we'll see how this thing turns out. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and record this little section right here and then um, tag it onto the end of this video you've been watching. And we'll call this, I don't know what part we're up to anyway. There's a video I watched and the guy done a great job. So I'm gonna put the link either up here in the corner or somewhere in my description you need to watch on how to put this EGR kit, delete kit on. So to rehash, you know, there's part of the covering up. You had to remove part of that. You had to remove, let me, let me show you, let me show you. A lot of this stuff, this, that, most of that mess right over yonder, that part right there goes on the exhaust. This thing down here, all that gets removed off of the truck. Uh, I'll put a link in his in, in my video, and you just need to go watch his. He done a great job, so I ain't gonna rehash it. Um, he covers all this. You got to plug a lot of these off, plug some of this off. I got to run from this one right here. I got to get me a piece of vacuum line tomorrow. That one says P. You can't read it. Anyway, run it to here. So I'm gonna get me some line, run it down underneath everything, run it down underneath all this and run it back over to there. That's gotta be on there for vacuum. I've got one wire that I've got to track down where it goes. I'm pretty sure it's a ground, but I've failed to mark it. It looks ground quality wire because I don't think, but I'm gonna make sure I got my exhaust manifold ready to go on. Uh, power steering pump, I'm not gonna put it back on until I get the all that bolted back there, make sure I know where that wire goes, but it is coming together, folks, all in all. Um, it's just taking a little longer than what I meant to. Of course, all these wires right here, some go to the, uh, well, the alternator's done on there. Some go up in here, plug to different odds and ends. We'll get into all that here a little bit later. Uh, like I said, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned in this series. We'll get this thing back on the road uh, and do a first start on it. Uh, Put quite a bit of money into it from start to finish with all the head work and the new head, the cam, boring it out, piston rings, bearings, everything internal. Uh, stay tuned. We'll see how this thing turns out. Get it back together. Um, then we're going to have to do a little body work. I probably should have been working on that while the truck was down, but it's a 93 model. It's definitely showing its age. Stick around. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed this rebuild series. I didn't cover every part of it, but y'all have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you on part whatever we're on. Bye.